Sometimes you have to slow down in order to speed up, to propel yourself into your next authentic version of yourself, your next version of who you are meant to be. Sometimes you have to move like the turtle. The turtle won at the end of the race, and so will you when you adopt this principle. Hi, my name is Stacy. Welcome to my channel, Stacy's Ascension Academy, where we talk about a little bit of everything on your spiritual awakening journey. So that's going to include some numerology because I love numerology. It's going to include some personal development and other spiritual topics. So if that sounds like you, you know what to do. Now let's get into it. When you look at a turtle, what do you see? It moves slowly. It moves slowly and it has longevity, it has a long life. It has this whole weight on its back, but it's still moving towards wherever it needs to be. What you don't know or may not be aware of is the turtle does not see time the way we see it. It's actually sped up for them. You can Google on YouTube how animals actually see time as opposed to how humans see time. Like your dog sees time in half the span that we do. It's a really awesome video. I don't know where it's at. If I could find it, I will link it in the description so you can see it. But the turtle sees things going lightning fast in front of their vision. It's just, but we see it moving slow. So what does that mean for you? It means that even though you may feel like things are moving slowly, the outside world does not see that. You're actually moving a lot faster than you think you are. Think back to last year and where you are now. Are you not 10 times faster in your movements? Are you not 10 times faster, closer to your goals? Are you not a different person? Or let's go even further back. Let's go back to 2020. Compare 2020 to where you are now. You've moved, you're progressing. And sometimes you have to slow down in order to speed up. We're just in this culture where everything is hustle, 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 hustle. I myself fall into that trap at times because I, you know, told myself I was going to do this for 21 days and post every day on YouTube and that's how I'm going to get it up and get the follows. And then today I just realized and started channeling a message like, no, you don't. You don't have to do that much. Do at what you want to do, do in your pace and go into a receiving time in your life. So turtle mode is about receiving, receiving downloads from source, receiving downloads from God because you slow down. If you took a day off, you're a business owner and you took a day off and you're like, oh, my, I have so much to do, slow down. No, you don't. You need to do the 80-20 method. 20% of the efforts that you do is going to be the most rewarding. All that 80%, you can delegate to someone else. It does not have to be go, go, go. Sometimes when you slow down, you ricochet off into the next timeline that you need to be in. And I'm going to emphasize the word timeline because each time you're manifesting something, it's because you're upgrading to another timeline. That is what you're working with. The version of yourself right now is not working for you and you want to go into another timeline, a timeline where you're not single, a timeline where you are healthy, a timeline where you're at peace, a timeline where you're making the money you want to make. Whatever that is for you, enter your total mode. Enter the time where you don't have to speed up and do everything and pace and all this masculine it's, it's very much a masculine dominate energy that's going on and it's time for you to balance the feminine energy the feminine energy is receiving mode step back into the receiving mode if you go so fast at one pace the universe can't really slowly give you what you want it's trying to say slow down a little bit you're missing some key points here you're missing this over here. You're missing this to the left. You're missing this to the right. Sometimes you're so busy chasing something that you don't see that it's already right in front of you. Take your time. Be steady. Life is not a marathon. You don't have to like win at everything, but indeed you actually are winning. If you take a, take a look, take a look back at where you've been and where you are right now. Just take a look. You're consistently growing. You're consistently moving. It may be, it, and let's think about it for a second. If you want to manifest a million dollars and you're like, oh my God, I want a million dollars. I want 10 million. But you only have about, I don't know, 2,000 in your bank account or something. Could you really handle if you got that tomorrow? Chances are not. 
because that is why lottery winners end up back broke again because the only thing they need to work on and slow down the pace is your frequency your frequency has to slow down so you can invite in and be on the timeline of that million dollar timeline. But right now, you're not on that timeline right now because you're in that mind state of, I have to make it happen, I have to make it happen, I have to make it. No, no, no. When you're in that right frequency, that right alignment, when you slow down to hear your inner voice, your inner thoughts, your inner peace, your inner guidance, you will find out all you have to do is just one, one move, one opportunity. Things just start coming to you, start magnetizing to you. And if you haven't watched my video yesterday about how to make things magnetically come to you, I'm going to link that at the end of this video. So you should go ahead and um, check that out too. But what you want to do is sit with yourself. Hear your own inner thoughts. Hear your own inner wisdom. And then the one move you make will ricochet you into where you need to be. Because you got to feel it inside first. Slow down and work on your insides first. Work on what's going on inside. Become what you want to be. Become that peaceful person. You can find peace in chaos. Become that healthy person. You can find health in not so healthy circumstances. The present version of you is the versions of yesterday, of months ago, of all this programming from the past. That's what you're living in right now. That's why they keep preaching and say to stay present, to stay in the present moment, because your present day is what's going to affect your tomorrow. You ever wonder why sometimes you wake up in a horrible mood? It's probably from what you digested the day before. What did you go to sleep watching? What did you go to sleep listening to? Here's another thing. Did you eat at 9 o'clock at night before you went to sleep and wonder why you're not feeling so great the next morning sluggish? Your power is always in the present moment if you want to make change for the future. You can't say, my health is declining, my health is declining, and then wonder why each day it's declining. Slow down pace yourself say in this present day i am becoming healthier and healthier each day each day my body is improving i am making drastic changes if you're talking about money slow down each day say to yourself so you can start you know speeding up your future by slowing down and say each day my wealth increases every day every day my wealth increases i am getting wealthier and wealthier each day I am abundant in every way. Money flows to me easily each day. You, you just put yourself in that framework until your subconscious starts to realize that, yeah, we are. We're very wealthy. But a lot of times people need to see it before they believe it, when in fact it's the opposite. You must believe it, and then you can see it. And if you're going so fast, like the rabbit just jumping, boom, 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 boom taking off everywhere, you can never stop to actually believe in the essence of what you're trying to manifest, what you're trying to become, what you are being. You got to stay present, slow down for a minute, take a day off. I've noticed at times when I take time and just kind of just, you know, I'm not going to do any work. I'm not going to think about anything else. I'm just going to honor my inner being, find peace, alignment, sit down in the sun, just do some yoga, chill by the pool or something and just relax. All of a sudden, the things that I've been trying to push up against start to come in smoothly out of nowhere. I'm just like, what is this? Art of detachment, slowing down. I'm going to do a video about detaching probably maybe for tomorrow or um, I don't know. Because like I said, I am entering this turtle mode as well. I am learning that you don't have to put so much action into things in order to get your results that you want. You can slow down and hear the thoughts of your inner soul. And I know that when I sit in nature and I slow down, I receive so much downloads and so much messages from the higher self of me. Through seeing a particular animal and seeing just messages that are out there, the universe is always speaking to you. You just got to slow down and see it and see and receive the messages that they're trying to deliver to you. But if you got everything planned out and you got to you got to cross this off and cross this off and cross this off then you're never going to see the messages you can sit down and you can just see, see beautiful nature around you giving you these opportunities out of nowhere they just come into your reality because you choose 
to be a little still, to be a little instead of doing, doing, doing. Everything is just doing in this world. That's why so many people have anxiety because they're in this constant panic and thinking about the future and how many things they got to do to order to maneuver this and do, 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 do. Slow down. Just slow down. Be like the turtle. But remember, the turtle is still moving very fast in its reality. It is moving super fast in its reality. You may see that it's moving slow, but in its reality, it's moving fast. And so are you. You slow it down in your reality, you are going to speed the F up. Speed it up. Out of nowhere, things start aligning because you can hear your inner voice. And if you are around people that are constantly busy, hey, we got to go do this. You know, I... People that are constantly like, I have something to do and I got to pencil you and schedule you in because I am so important. I have so much things going on. Blah, 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 blah. Half the time, you know, is they really don't. They're just trying to continue to keep themselves busy so they don't have to work on what's going on inside of them. What's going on inside? Unless you're running a Fortune 500 company and even still, I don't even think those people work as hard because they got people working for them. Rich people are out here playing golf and all this kind of stuff. And got other people, the workhorses, the ants, moving around and doing all the work for them. So if you think that constantly being busy and is being important and being, it's, it's not. To me, you got to slow down. You don't have to have your schedule um, arranged every hour of the day doing this. You got to pick the kids up. You got to take them to the after school this. And you got to do that. And you have to go home and cook. And you have to... And if you're a man... You know, whatever you guys do afterwards, too, is you always have to be constantly in a go, 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 go mode. Go, go, go mode will burn you out. Burn you out. And you need to slow it down a bit. And you will find that you will accomplish your goals a lot quicker and efficiently. Okay? That is all I have for you guys. If you like to learn more about the services and products that I have to offer, because I have a online membership that I enroll a certain amount of people each month because I like to keep it small and intimate so I could give you guys more of guidance. I go live once a month with it. I also have a unlimited library of material that you don't find online with written lectures and things to help you on your spiritual journey and personal development to bridge the gap between where you are and where you want to be in a nice, organized fashion. And it's going to be linked below.